So I say, you know, let's let the most intrepid of us go off to Mars and, and make it less of a hellhole. Let's use it as a forward base to jump off to other places in the solar system, perhaps Ganymede or Titan or the clouds of Venus. And let us learn enough about living in difficult environments and long duration spaceflight that one day we might settle worlds around other stars. That's the vision I have for humanity. It's, it's fundamentally opposed to Shannon, I believe, but I, I do think that it's in our nature to go outward. I will forever argue, no, that we should not be focusing settling humans on Mars. I understand by this point that Mars has become this bright red symbol of immortality. We think if we can just get there, if we can just find a way to live there, we can outrun death. But in reality, the only thing waiting for us on Mars is death. It is a place to die, not a place to live. My wish is that we would recalibrate our relationship to the cosmos and the way that we think about Mars and other planets and our place in this universe that we are a part of a shared environment and we are stewards of this environment, the same way we're stewards of Yosemite or Yellowstone or Antarctica. My wish is that we would think about that we are a part of this beautiful universe and that we can be a part of something without taking it, that we can be a part of something without destroying it. I know it's less romantic. I know it's less exciting. <laughs> it's less science fiction. Um, it's less adventurous, but we know how to fix the problem. We know that Mars is not actually the answer. The answer is here. We have a planet with everything we could possibly need. There's air, there's water, there's life, and there's a future.